What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. And in today's video, I'll show you how to install the latest all new Infinity X ROM based on the latest Android 16. This is my old Galaxy A30, currently running on the Galaxy S23 port based on Android 15.1 UI7. This is the Project Infinity X GSI ROM, which works on most devices. The current version is 3.1, the latest officially signed GSI build based on Android 16. The best part? It supports OTA updates, meaning you'll receive software updates directly. This ROM mainly focuses on performance to deliver a smoother system experience, along with some custom features and bug fixes. I've already downloaded the ROM file. After downloading, you'll need to extract it using Z-Archiver to get the system image file. This ROM already includes gaps for Google Play support. I also do recommend copying the extracted file to an SD card or USB drive to avoid errors during boot. Also make sure to back up your important data. So, all right, the system image is extracted. Make sure your device's bootloader is unlocked and TWRP recovery is installed. Let's power off the phone and boot into TWRP recovery, just like I've shown in my recent videos. Now select wipe advanced wipe and check Dalvik cache and system partitions. Swipe to wipe. Next, select install. Navigate to the path where you extracted the ROM file. Here, select install image. Choose the system image partition and swipe to flash. The boot, vendor, product, and other partitions will remain the same as they work on your existing installed ROM system kernel. I mean the Galaxy S23 port, which I have installed as the base on this device. Once installed, let's boot the system. The Infinity X ROM is now starting up and there we go. Complete the setup as usual. And we're on the home screen. First impressions. This ROM feels smooth, even on this old device. The notification panel and quick settings still have that nice glassy transparent look. You can add more toggles and customize them based on your preference. Toggles are even resizable. Heading into settings. To about device. And we can see it's running the latest Android 16, Project Infinity X 3.0, with the latest security patch. The UI transitions feel smooth, and despite being a GSI, performance is impressive. Now for the custom features, we have Infinity Suite for personalization. You can change wallpapers, themes, system accents with more Monet color settings, lock screen layouts and status bar configurations. Under miscellaneous, you can spoof your device, unlock higher FPS in games, hide apps, spoof storage encryption status, and more. Just like we've seen on other custom ROMs. Everything will be same as usual. You can set them based on your needs. Connectivity-wise, it works well, like the Wi-Fi. Hotspot with dual connectivity support and the Bluetooth are all functional. Everything works normal. And all the remaining things will be the same, like on the regular AOSP version. Let's go to battery. Everything is same, with more battery options and battery manager. In storage, out of 64 gigs, 10 gigs is used by the system. In privacy and security, fingerprint is also working fine. I didn't notice any issues since I installed, it's optimized really well. And also this ROM comes with extra treble features. As I mentioned earlier, this ROM supports OTA updates, which you can even expect future software updates too on this. So currently, it's up to date. You can join their GSI community if you want further more updates. You'll get device features like Samsung settings based on my phone. If you are using Xiaomi or Poco, you'll get those settings. Display settings. Here we have option to enable dynamic refresh rate. In the same way, you'll customize your device based on your needs. And also in camera settings, you can able to force enable camera to API as well. If you are using Snapdragon device, it will be more advantage. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Overall, I'm really impressed with the smooth performance and the customization options it offers, especially on an older device like this. 
So, if you're looking for a stable, feature-packed GSI ROM with OTA updates and solid daily usability, definitely give Infinity X a try. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you found this helpful. Drop your questions or feedback in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.